one thing I've been trying to practice lately is being happy for other people. I don't know how this is going to come off, <laughs> but so many times I think probably, not all the time, but sometimes probably I've been just politically correct. I say the right things. Oh, this happened for you? Congratulations. Oh, you two are together now? Such a happy couple. <laughs> I think a lot of times I've thought that, but, you know, if it's a girl you kind of liked or someone that is in a similar industry to you, things like jealousy and envy, I think, creep up, whether you admit it or not. I, and I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's jealousy or envy, but just sometimes when you see someone that's in a similar space as you get to a place or have something happen to you that you haven't had happen in a positive way, it, it makes you feel a certain way or it makes you get competitive. When really, like as of late, like I really, when I see a couple together, or a brand new couple. I guess whether I know them or not, but I'll, I'll use the example of someone I know. That, you know, maybe they were single for a long time like you, and then you see them with their new boyfriend or girlfriend, and they're so happy, and they're so that. And, you know, instead of feeling that like, oh, please stop, we don't, keep it to yourself, we don't wanna see this, or oh, well, how the heck is he dating her or is she dating him? Instead, like looking at that and being like, wow, you look genuinely happy, both of you. And something like love and finding another person is so rare. <laughs> anyway, I'm not going to make this video about dating apps and Sam's dating life. I've done that enough. <laughs> but if there's one conclusion I can draw, finding someone that you can be 110% comfortable with and be your complete self, man, doesn't come by often. And when it does, embrace it. Man, when I see someone that they're in a new relationship or maybe this is their first big relationship and you know, they're, they're in the honeymoon phase and yada, yada, yada. It's like, yeah, times will be different, I'm sure, in the future. But if you're happy now, like if you're happy with this person now, life's short, man. Life's short and it is so hard to just connect with someone on that level of comfortability. So when I see friends of mine or people that find that, not just like, Oh, I'm kind of dating this person. You know, it's all right. No, I mean like head over heels stuff. When that happens, I'm genuinely happy for you. I think it's one of the greatest gifts on earth. You know, enjoy it. Embrace it. Experience it. Savor it. Nothing's permanent. Nothing is permanent. And that's okay. Just don't take for granted when you do meet someone really special. I think it's a beautiful thing. <laughs>